everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are back in Little Solace to wrap up our duties here with the Sylph Tribe. We rescued their elder and hopefully that means we can have a nice and lasting peace with them. Kamuxio, what do you got for me? Kamuxio wants you to discuss peace with Frixio. This one has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones. Ah good, everyone made it. Ah, there you are, Satora. We have just been hearing tell of your deeds de uh, deeds of daring do. Well done. Ah, the walking ones who aided Noraxia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been a service. If you do not mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as walking one calls them, of this one began when Imperial ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial ones closely. But these, one wa uh, these ones watched too closely, and Imperial ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled into Totorak. Would that this one had not. In Totorak, a sinister one enrobed in black tried to feed this one to a many-legged one. A sinister one robed in black. Why do I have the feeling I should be more worried about that than I am? Elder Frixio, we come to you as emissaries of the nation of Gridania. The mi uh, this missive bears the words of the Elder Seeds here. This one sees, so walking ones of Gridania are fearful of Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summoned the Lord of Levin but once, yet that single occurrence occasion, uh, occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seeds here wrote to you. Hmm. This one knows, uh, well knows and respects Horn One Kani San. Be assured, like Walking Ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramu to protect the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but it was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramu was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. These ones want so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones, but did not know how, and still do not know. Touched ones, meanwhile, want to turn these ones into touched ones, and did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all those ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Ramu. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touch ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not callous and cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland, where touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. But this one has spoken enough of touched ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, this one, uh, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Gridania. And so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the Sylphs, Ramu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile with, towards trespassers, but what about the abductions? A fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered sylph's desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold, a timely reminder that the challenges posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixia, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to Horn One Kani Senna.
And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. That Silfelder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm? Was that a jibe? If so, I, only, I feel it only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if it punched her on the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. Anyway, we're going back to the Waking Sands and tell Minthilia all about it. Fear not, we'll be, sure, uh, we'll be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate it if you would deliver Frixio's uh, missive to the Adder's Nest. Elder Frixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. The honor is this one's. Together, let the walking ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. Please wait, Walking One Satora. This one is yet to give Walking One a token of this one's appreciation. When these ones summoned Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon the Walking One as a symbol of these ones' trust. This one was not mistaken about Walking One. Walking One is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within Walking One enveloped the crystal. This one saw. Mark this one well. That crystal will one day be of use to Walking One. Walking One must keep that crystal safe at all times. Before Walking One returns to Gridania, this one would ask Walking One to w w watch Touched Ones. So long as Touched Ones are not troubled, Touched Ones will not make trouble. If Walking One witnesses Touched Ones making no trouble, mayhap Walking One can testify to Walking Ones of Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for Touched Ones. That's three crystals, water, fire, and lightning. All right, let's go check out the touched ones just to confirm with our own eyes that they are indeed safe and not going to cause trouble for us. All right, across the bridge into Lark's Call. We do not want to proceed very far into this area at all because as mentioned, it is dangerous. Stand here and we'll use the lookout emotes. I always forget where it is. There it is. There are tempered sylphs in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. That is genuinely fantastic to hear. It is unfortunate that, from what we know, being tempered causes you to lose your will in favor of only expressing the will of the primal you've summoned, but... As unfortunate as it is that they've lost their will, at least they are not a threat to anyone else. So, we should be able to leave it be for the time being. They can do what they wish, and we can continue to live in peace. All right, let's get back to Gridania and report the fantastic news. Didn't even need to fight a primal this time. Hello, Vorsale. I bring some fantastic news. Ah, Private Lancy. How went the meeting with the Sylphs? It went outstandingly. I missed it from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. 
So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seeds here will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures. And in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources towards tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done our nation a great service, Private Lanzi. It will not be forgotten. Alright, I am so glad that this has all come to a wonderful conclusion. Next time on Final Fantasy XIV. We have another crafter to work on. We're going to be working on carpentry. Our level 20 carpentry quest and the next part of our crafting log. And then we return to Vorsale to finish off this chapter of A Realm Reborn. I will see everyone next time for that.